A monumental team effort 50 years ago led to the Apollo 11 mission that put a man on the moon. All this week, we've given you a closer look at the people who played a role in making history. Yeah, that includes one of the flight directors for the Apollo 11 mission. His daughter talking about her father's pivotal role. Channel 2's Roseanne Aragon live uh, now from Space Center Houston. Roseanne, good afternoon. Celebrations of that incredible milestone continue here at Space Center Houston. And this is what the Griffin family was all about, space education and the future. Gwen Griffin's dad had a pivotal role and he taught her values that she takes with her today. The Apollo 11 moon landing. That's one small step for man. Is a moment that people took in, life-changing history that to many meant the world. But for little Gwen Griffin. We had just gotten our first color TV, and I remember looking for my, because they would do shots into the control center, and I remember looking for my daddy. It was perhaps just another day at Nassau Bay. She was six. And then it was kind of like, okay, can I go back outside now? But as important as her playtime was, she, the daughter of flight director, Director Jerry Griffin had an inkling of just how cool her dad was. We knew it was important and we knew to be respectful. Griffin co-led Mission Control, launching man to the moon. We have a liftoff, 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. We had the interface with the with Kennedy Space Center to get it launched. And, and then we had all that activity to get into orbit. Working with the best and the brightest, many who lived in this little utopia, Gwen's father works nonstop. I would, you know, be asleep before my dad would come home from the control center and he'd be gone long before I'd wake up the next morning because even though they weren't on console necessarily all day, so many epic things were happening. We almost lost the use of the word I. It was we. His team made history again and again. But to Gwen, who regularly played with sons and daughters of astronauts like Gene Cernan and Al Bean, life as a NASA brat was so normal. You know, we all rode our bikes to each other's house. And leaders like Jerry Griffin were just dads. Just a great dad and a playful dad and a silly dad and a fun dad. The values he taught her, though, stuck. I have a great respect for leadership and, and what that means. Now, Gwen Griffin would go on to serve as the board of directors here at Space Center Houston, and her company is actually helping with an event, the screening of the Armstrong documentary tonight. Her and her dad will both be here, and I will be moderating the panel that will happen after that screening. And her dad says he is very proud of her. Reporting live from Space Center Houston, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News. What a family legacy, Roseanne. Thank you.